chapter 7, Mishnah 3. If a Jewish woman finds a blood stain on her clothing, and it is possible that the blood came from a womb, the rabbis declared that she is Tame as a Nida. The rabbis also decreed the stain Tame as a stain of Nida blood. Our Mishnah discusses the law of blood stains that are found on garments of non Jewish women. All blood stains on garments that come from Rechem are Tahor, because the people of Rechem are not Jewish, and the blood stains of a non Jew are Tahor. But, <clears throat> but Rabbi Yehuda rules that the blood stains of the garment of Rechem are Tame, because the people of Rechem are Jewish converts who acted appropriately. That is, they are Jews whose blood stains are Tame, and they are not careful to conceal their blood stains as Jewish women usually do. We must therefore be concerned that any bloodstained garment found in Rechem was from such a Jewish convert. The Mishnah states the general rule. Those bloodstained garments that come from among the non-Jews are Tahor, because the rabbis did not decree Tuma on non-Jewish bloodstains. But bloodstained garments that come from among Jews or Kuthians are Tame, because both Jews and Kuthians are subject to the Tuma bloodstains. Gemara and, um, the Gemara 56b explains that the Mishnah is missing a line here, which reads, Bloodstains found in Jewish towns are Tahor. Since Jewish women are careful to store away garments that are stained with need of blood, we assume that the blood on a garment lying in the open in a Jewish town is not need of blood, but is from a different source. This applies to garments that are found in a Jewish town, but if they are found in an open area of a Kuthian town, there is a dispute. Rabbi Meir rules that the garments are Tame because he holds that the Kuthian women are not careful to store away their bloodstained garments. Therefore, the garments might be stained with needle blood, even though they were found in an open area. But the sages rule that the garment is Tahor, because Kuthian women are not suspected of leaving their blood-stained garments in open areas. Rather, they store them away as Jewish women do. Hence, if the garment is found in an open area, the blood stain is presumably not needle blood.